Um, hi, Rebecca. Thank you for joining me today. How are you? Good, thank you. So where, where are you calling from? New York. New York City or the state of New York? From New York City. From New York City, perfect. So I'm I'm right now in uh, Tel Aviv. So, uh, you know, very, very far from each other. And uh, is this the first time you're writing a book? This is not the first time I'm writing a book, but this is the first time I'm publishing a book. Oh, and and how how was the feeling to to hold the book in your hands, a book that you wrote? I was excited and happy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, is it like an old dream to become an author, or uh, or not really? Kind of, kind of. I wanted to write a book, but not necessarily become an author. Oh, interesting. Uh, why? I'm curious. Because I have um, other plans for my career path, but uh, being an author, I wanted to do it on the side. Uh, just from my knowledge, like how old are you? I'm 16. 16, perfect. So my daughters, by the way, are 17 and 18, so not very far from you. Uh, and uh, so you have a different path in your career. What do you want to do when you grow up? Probably be a doctor. Okay, so then a doctor and an author. That's that's pretty impressive. So so let's talk a little bit about the creative process. Like, so first, like, how did you hear about uh, Brie Books? Is it part of the National uh, Young Off Affair in the US? Yeah, my somebody from my school sent me an email to participate in it. And my mom said that this will be an opportunity for me because I wanted to write a book and publish it. Okay, so you get to the platform. Do you know what you want to write about? Or like, how's the first steps of writing? I already had an idea of what I was going to write. So it just came to me. Okay, so you go into the platform and you just like everything just flows from your head or you're kind of, you're just writing nonstop. Wow, that's a, that's impressive. And did you use any uh, any themes, any design, or is it just like a blank paper? I'm just going to put everything on my mind on a, on, on a paper. Um, I just wrote, and then as I went on in the book, I changed some of the themes. Uh, can you show me actually the book, the, the, the book cover? OK. Oh, wow. The Blood Rose. OK. First, you need to explain the name to me. So the blood rose is a rose that was grown artificially by scientists to create vampires. Uh, whew. Okay. And uh, do you want to read perhaps like the first page or our favorite part of the book? Because I'm very curious uh, even how it starts. Also for the art, I drew this on my own. You You painted it? I drew it. You drew it. Oh my God, that's amazing! Show wow. Oh wow. Okay, so you're you're like a full, full, full artist. Like you know, wow. I also drew this. Oh. Okay. Okay. Now I need to hear you. Okay. I, I really need to hear the first page because of the lab bros. I'm very curious right now. Chapter one. I remember it like it was yesterday. I was walking from school, home from school and the church bells were ringing. It was like a typical day, nothing out of the ordinary. But then out of nowhere, a woman yelled from the distance. My brothers, Adrian, Ben Jr. and I went, ran up to see what the matter was. When we ran to where we heard the scream of the woman, there she was lying on the ground, immobile. She was dead. Her face was pale and bearing an expression of shock. Wow. Whew. So I, I like I'm I'm really puzzled. So you you have an idea for a story. Uh, did you have the ideas for the drawings as well? Or this would this come later? Later. It came later. Okay. So so you have the idea for the story. Uh, you just sit on the platform and you just put it out there, right? All the way, the entire story in one shot, or did you have to do like you know fewer variations, etc.? At first, I wanted one of the people there to be poisoned because I wanted to make a bad bad guy there. But uh -huh. then I changed it to make it fit better. 
Okay, so so you made you make certain modifications. Did you did anybody like your family or anybody else read the book while you're doing it, or you just you you had to complete it by yourself? I read the first few pages to my mom. She said it's interesting. Okay, uh, okay. So then you you get to that you write the entire thing, and then you said, okay, now I'm going to start adding my drawings, right? So this is like. Uh, uh like an add-on so did you create like multiple drawings uh, one like how was the artistic process there um this drawing is based off of the ending of the story uh-huh when she came to the blood rose this is the main oh. character yeah 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 okay so you so you created your other drawings and uh okay and you and boom the book is there you press publish verify then it goes to amazon right uh and uh did you start selling it did you buy an order for yourself like what, what's going on like the moment after you press publish and you get a message that it was published on amazon my mom bought it my aunt bought it and then um we spread the word to the rest of my family and then i told people in school and they also bought it so how many copies did you sell by now just curious i don't know i guess like 10 100 i don't know I... maybe um 16 15. Okay, no, I'm 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 asking because you know I spoke with uh, quite a lot of authors around the world, and sometimes the the answers really surprise me. Sometimes a child will tell me, uh, you know, uh, I only got one copy and that's it. And then I remember one time I spoke with a child. And she goes, I sold I sold twelve hundred copies, and I said like, how did you sell twelve hundred copies? She did. Uh, so, you know, you know, because it's, it is really a different form, like, you know, the trying to promote yourself. Some people like to promote yourself, themselves and other people don't like it. So you get the book, the book lands in your mailbox, you, you unwrap it. How does it feel? I was, um, I was happy that I finally have a book that looks like an actual published book. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, and you have like you know, and it it also come like with a with a ISBN. You know, it's it is like published you know on Amazon and on Bree Books, and uh, so you get the book, you show it to your mom, I guess, first time. How how's this experience going on? She called my my aunt, her sister, and she uh -huh. showed it because my my aunt also ordered it, so she showed her before she received it, before my aunt received it okay so perfect so i i i get it the family loves it etc so now to the last question that i have for you and it's probably the most important question because we really have a, a students from all around the world that are writing books what advices would you give to a young lady that would like to write a book like any advice it can be one advice or five anything you can advise other other because a lot of children that's what they do they they watch videos like this before they start writing so any advice that you will give would be great so you have to just write anything that's on your mind you don't have to worry about if people would like it or not as long as you like it maybe you can share it with one or two people to see if it's it, it caught their attention and then just write how you would want to write it and then publish it and whatever just, happens happens just put it out there by the way I, I actually have a quick question for you another one sorry i didn't i didn't plan it but it's important you know we always say that the first page or the first paragraph uh are very important uh you know to draw your audience did you think about it a few times you come like after you wrote the entire book did you come back first to the first page to do it or you didn't have to do it at all i didn't have to do it but i didn't edit my first page that's how i wrote it the first time amazing 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 so you know so congratulations Thank on you. becoming a published author uh it's amazing i i really you know one of the things that uh I miss a lot is the books that I wrote when I was your age and some of them are missed because we didn't have the internet and three books and all that uh, so really it's an amazing achievement and I really hope the entire world would get to read your book I'm actually going to buy your book 
uh, uh, today, so I will get to read it because I didn't read it before. Uh, and I love the way you added the drawing and the drawing of yourself at the end. It's such a wonderful twist. It's actually the first time that I see somebody do, does like their own drawing for the picture at the end. And uh, and I hope you'll keep writing and I hope you'll be an amazing MD and an author and a published author. I think it's a really wonderful combination. Thank you. Thank you. Great pl pleasure Bye. to meet you. Bye. Bye-bye.